everyone. I'm now sort of live interviewing the first feature artist and band of this week. I have here uh, Matthias from Genga uh, in Norway. I guess I'll, I'll start having Matthias to tell us about Genga, like tell us about your band and maybe introduce your band members a little bit and what sort of music do you guys play? Yeah, hey, good to see you. Um, so I play with Gangar, as we pronounce it in Norway, and uh, we play Norwegian folk rock. So we take um, really old recordings from the archives and old um, CDs and vinyls and wax roll uh, uh, recordings, and then we rearrange them with influences from heavy metal and rock and roll and jazz funk, whatever we think sounds cool. So we add like ACDZ riffs and uh, yeah, Meshuggah genting and all that. And so we just kind of that, that's how we work. And I, we've got a band with um, saxophone, fiddle, guitar, drums, and bass. So uh, and it's kind of like fiddle as the lead vocal, sax as the backing vocal, and then we've got the accompaniment. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Well, look, ACDC is the Australia's most famous band, so I'm sure oh, yeah. the audience would love to hear that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's amazing. Um, and I think a little bird told me that you guys just going to release your first single. Um, yeah. I mean, congratulations, but would you tell us when you're, you're releasing it right now? Thanks. Um, we're releasing on October 7th. And this single is leading up towards our debut, or like our first EP, which is dropping in December, December 2nd. So yeah. awesome. we're really happy about this. Uh, we've been working at it for a long time and it feels really great to like finally put music out after having played for a couple of years. So yeah, that's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> um, yeah. I i uh, definitely get all the energy um, from listening to the songs that you guys put on um and make sure you guys check out um and Genga. okay just correct me if i said it wrong is ganga gangar gangar with the r the Gang. r has to yeah. roll the r gangar yeah. Gang okay yeah <laughs> all right that sounds embarrassing that, to pronounce it wrong as it well. means uh it means uh, uh, it's the name of an old Norwegian type of dance, a walking dance, gangar. Mm, gan, gan, um, well, well, since you mentioned the dance, I've heard that you guys have this signature dance called the tree dance. We do, we definitely <laughs> do. Um, it's kind of our calling card of our live concerts and we'll lead the audience in the tree dance and quite simply uh, explain that it's basically you, you um, lock your feet to the floor like the roots of an old tree and then you raise your hand like branches and then you blow in the wind Maybe. and it's always <laughs> always fun to watch the audiences be confused and uh, look at each other like what 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 oh okay yeah <laughs> Yeah, and everyone can have their own interpretation of this tree dance, obviously. Move as you like. There are so many, there are so many types of trees, you know. Yeah, exactly. I think I want to be a eucalyptus tree in Australia where mm. koalas would just hug it all day. <laughs> I'd also like to hug koalas all day. <laughs> yeah, well, <sighs> one day when you come to Australia, you'll, you'll, you'll give it a go. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll just yeah um all right well i guess i have um just have a question about you know how like what inspired you guys to start playing and making music like like how did you start it at all um the band specifically or personally um yeah you can tell me about you personally because i i think you're you're sort of the the band leader you started the band initially mm. right and and you know how yeah. the band came together in the end sort of thing yeah yeah absolutely um so i've grown up in a folk music family and i started dancing as like a four-year-old norwegian folk dance that is and then i started playing fiddle and then later hard anger around when it was nine uh so i've grown up with folk music and um 
now I study at the Academy of Music and I study Hardanger fiddle actually. For those who don't know, that's Norway's traditional instrument. It's like this super uh, pretty uh, and uh, decorated type of fiddle with four or five resonant strings under. Wow. Uh, and uh, with my whole school, we ended up going to this festival. Um, and there we saw the Swedish folk rock band, Hoven Droven. And I really recommend checking them out. And they also play instrumental folk rock. So we were like, darn, I really want to do something like that, just with Norwegian repertoire. And so we kind of like, we're, we're, we were really ex uh, inspired by them. And then we started playing together. Uh, and then we kind of found our own sound, which is a little more heavy metal influenced. And yeah. Yeah, I think it's always nice to have your own like a cultural identity in your own music. Um, it just means, yeah, I mean, it means a lot to 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 show yourself and um, be proud of your identity in some ways. And yeah, and I really appreciate that too. Like people trying to carry on the tradition um, in in a musical way. So so yeah, that's that's really really cool. Um, well, I guess I have. I guess, yeah, I have like another question, like tell me one thing that most people don't know about you or or like fun facts about you guys. You know, it doesn't have to be music related or, you know, something interesting. <laughs> well, so like our guitarist, he actually studies IT, yeah. which is really funny because he'd argue that it's uh, related to music in many ways, like his pedal board, for example. Yeah. And the, the website that we use, he's made. So that's really cool. Um, saxophone player, really, really good at math. <laughs> Both <laughs> him and I did not study music until we were, we were uh, at, past high school. So we mm -hmm. kind of found our way into the conservatory then. The bass player was actually in like, Norway's uh, kind of like idol or Euro Norway's like Eurovision, but just in Norway, but for kids. And they <laughs> got to the final and everything. So he was <laughs> on TV true. playing with uh, playback and such like in one of Norway's biggest stages. Um, oh, and the drummer, he has actually a forklift uh, or he's, he's driven a lot of forklifts before. Wow. Worked at a warehouse. Wow. Uh, I'd say those are our fun facts. Since now you're speaking to my Australian, we, we normally say Australian Aussies. Um, that's just the shorter term of Australia. <laughs> so, because um, you're now speaking to my Aussie friends uh, on the internet, um, what would you want them to know about you guys? Is there a specific message that you wanted to give to the Australian audience? Um, yeah, if you want to party, I mean, come to a concert with us because, well, we'll give you a party <laughs> and uh, we'll have a fun time together, tree dancing, and uh, we'll teach you lyrics in Norwegian and we'll just have a good old time. So we hope to get to see you guys in person someday. Really want to make it to back to Australia. So Yeah, that, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, make sure yeah. we get in touch and we can, um, yeah get you guys to um to play for the australian audience that'd be really good yeah. yeah we're we're very um we're yeah we have a big folk music community in australia so i'm sure you guys will well fit in straight away so um yeah well thank you so much this is our uh, little interview about you guys and um thanks again to uh gengar um for uh, joining us today and can't wait to share more about you guys in the coming days <laughs> yeah it's been great talking to you bye bye thanks with you bye oh wow look right over there it's a wild polar bear i'm a poking with a stick oh i better be careful <laughs> get a little get a little close get a real close look at him crikey <laughs> oh my god that was so good you can totally nail the Aussie accents. I love that. It's so good. For <laughs> <laughs> oh, all of you Australians planning on coming to Norway, I'd really recommend going, of course, skiing in the mountains, and then you have to take a break at a little log cabin and have some hot cocoa and a canelbole or a cinnamon bun, whatever you want to call it. That's 
but I'd recommend it.